Hello and welcome back to Spirit Mom. Today at Spirit School, we're going to discuss the solar plexus, the third chakra. This is the yellow ray energy center. This is the top of the lower section and a gateway to the heart. If you have issues in this center, you'll have issues entering the heart. This is because your relationship with others is what this chakra is all about. And your relationship with others is the fuel for the heart. Like yesterday, this is still a very self-focused chakra, but it focuses on you and others. Yesterday we learned the sacral chakra was all about me and me, my views about me. This is where we balance the me through others. So this one's about you and others, how you interact with others, that dynamic there. This is where you feel the need to control others or to be controlled by others. Or often in our lives, it is a mix of both. Mom and dad control us, but at work, we control our fellow workers. Or it can manifest as we go through our days with customer service and fellow drivers on the road. We'll want everything to unfold exactly the way we want it to. We require complete dominant control over every detail in our lives. Or perhaps it's the opposite. It isn't just mom and dad who control you, it's everyone. You walk around apologizing to the world for everything you do. Everything out of your mouth is, I'm sorry, or what do you think we should do about everything? Remember our victim archetype? It can really get used when we allow others to dominate us. The key to this chakra, like all of them, is to create a balance. With this one though, we want to balance dominating others with being dominated, but in actual fact, we should just eliminate the domination factor altogether. You shouldn't be looking for either. The goal should be cohesive, flowing relationships with all. Sometimes they drive, sometimes you do. Sometimes you decide together, options get weighed. Maybe this takes longer, but maybe that's for the best. This chakra is linked to your liver and your stomach, as well as the intestines and spleen too. It is very intertwined with the sacral chakra. This is literal and physically linked together. This one uniquely holds though the stomach and the liver. So think anger. What does anger usually stem from? A loss of control, not being the boss, getting walked all over. Anger causes stomach issues like ulcers and liver problems like fatty liver disease. Both of these illnesses have further repercussions if left unchecked. So learn to release your anger. Getting angry isn't necessarily the problem. In fact, it is a good indicator that something should change. Perhaps we should ask with confidence for a situation to alter or perhaps see a moment for personal growth. You can learn to view an emotion, acknowledge them, and then instantly get into a meditative state and dissolve it. Really, like you feel it just it is important to neither stuff an emotion down nor let it take you over. So feel them, but release them. Your chakras are a constantly moving energy source. They are meant to be in constant motion. They want to move emotions through you quickly. This talk of opening your chakras isn't necessarily true except for the third eye, which we'll get to later. These chakras are already in motion. The question is, are they moving in balance? Are they moving too fast or too slow? Or are they splish splashing around all in full chaos? People can think these chakras are not open when in reality, not only are they open, they're moving and spinning out of control. They need to be balanced and calmed down. These first three are all about safety. So your needs to be controlled or controlling all stem from the need for safety. Constantly reassuring yourself that you are safe emotionally and physically will lead to reassurance. Meditate and establish mantras around your safety. I am safe, I am alive, I am loved, I am secure, I am well taken care of. 
I am the captain of my ship. This means maybe someone else is bossy, but they're in the ship beside you. But remember your ship, everything you control, that's yours. You have it in you to manifest your dreams. A better life will automatically come to you once you get your life into a coherent vibration. Be calm, be still, be the real you. So that, coming back to that ship metaphor. So when people are around us and they're triggering us and they're being bossy and we want them to stop or they're upsetting us and we want that to stop, we don't need to stop it with being dominating or controlling ourselves, or by rolling over, oh, okay, you win, I suck, I'll just listen to you. No, it's neither. It's neither of those two things. It's a middle. It's saying your truth with your confidence and that's that. Maybe they accept it, maybe they don't, but that's theirs to deal with. Once you've said your truth, that's all you can do. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about the world saving chakra, the heart chakra. This chakra on a grand scale has world uniting and healing properties. So release your anger and control needs today, people, because tomorrow we're gonna to touch on big stuff. We really need to work at those lower human parts, those first three, those human parts of you. Like uh, chakras are energetic, but they're controlling this flesh suit, this automaton, okay? Once we get to the heart, we'll learn that that's how we'll finally get into the spiritual realm. And look how big the human realm is compared to the teeny spiritual realm. Yeah, I think that's fascinating. The heart is just, it's, it's the mothership. <laughs> so good luck releasing that control, people. Goodbye for now, spirit mom.